you got to be that ready to drop with a puck, and you're going to have to go to war and battle for 120 minutes. Every last drop in the tank, boys. Uh, we got four points, we played well, and uh, it was a good trip for our team. Just uh, being in the right spot, our power play's been clicking well, and Niter made a good play out uh, in front of me there one time. Uh, I was able to get a stick on the shot by uh, Madsen off the point, and you know, just you know, Danny and Niter have been playing great hockey as of late, so it uh, makes it a little bit easier on me, so it's, uh, it's been good. It's hard not to be aggressive. He's got 14 goals already, so... Mm. Yeah, I don't know, he's been real hot lately, and uh, kind of a little hard time, so he gets a lot of rebound goals, and empty netter, just go on. Saturday was Alaska, hits a pole and goes right to him, but uh, definitely got the hot stick right now, so our job to down just give him a puck, so. Yeah. Well, I think he's elevated his game consistently. You know, I don't think there's been any one big jump in, uh, in Brock's performance level since he's been here, uh, right from the start of his freshman year. He's just continually improved his game. He works very hard at, uh, at all areas of his game. I think he's a guy that takes a lot of pride in being a good defensive player. As you see, he does a good job 5-on-5 five five defensively does a good job killing penalties for us um, and obviously he's an offensive uh, threat when he's on the ice and, and uh, by a lot of standards that's how he's measured but with us it's it's that level of uh, completeness that he has to his game that's how we measure him and quite honestly I think that's how he measures himself so we want to see continued uh, continued development in that area. I think Niner likes to get the assists and Nelson's get the goals out of this. do a little bit of both and uh, keep, keep the line chemistry going. I think, I think the three of them have good chemistry together. It's not, you know, it's not one guy doing any more of the work on that line than, than the other two. They just, they're the three good players. They're working hard together. They've worked hard to develop some chemistry. And I think, you know, what we've seen over the past uh, few weekends is, you know, uh, a little bit of a reaction to them having a subpar weekend. When you think that Bemidji, they really took it upon themselves uh, to uh, to raise the level of their game, and they've done that for their teammates. Basis. That's been a big challenge for us. Ron's done a great job of it, uh, both on the power play as well as five on five. And you know, Brendan O'Donnell is showing signs of uh, doing some of the same. I think uh, just getting more comfortable and uh, more confident every day, uh, every game, and just good leadership from, uh, from the older guys and uh, just good line mates help, obviously. But, uh, I think it's a uh, it's a team thing. Um, you know, playing with great line mates like Parksy and McMillan. Uh, they made it easy for me, uh, easy, easy to come back, and uh, like I said, just great leadership. We're seeing a little bit of chemistry 
uh, on, on the, the young line of the three freshmen, you know, but they've got to they've got to elevate their game and consistently produce if they're going to stay together. So we're seeing some good things. Uh, I'd say we're you know we're a big step in the right direction, but we're not there yet. Shooter, Thursday. All you had was Gary Muffins on you? evolution with our power play is its consistency. I think we've talked about that from the start of the year. We've been, we were sporadic in the first month of the year. Um, you know, we'd be good one power play and not so good the next, or real good one night and not effective the next night. Over the last uh, few games, the power play has been consistent. It's been effective uh, night in and night out. I think it's been a type of week that uh, you know we, we have to manage your time a little bit coming off of uh, the Alaska trip. Uh, as, you know, as much as you think you can just uh, flip a switch uh, and feel great uh, that next Monday or Tuesday, that's not the case. Usually, it takes a couple of days to get yourself uh, uh, back on the right schedule, sleep-wise, uh, and, and coming off the, the travel. So we had a good day yesterday. Today, obviously, is a critical day for us. Uh, good Thursday practice. Uh, have our units together as we'll start the game tomorrow night. So today is a critical day for us, and uh, you know I'm sure we'll go out and have a great practice. Good being able to do that uh, in one weekend, and you can't just you can't get too happy, I guess. But you gotta come back, and you know, it's uh, not only what you've done, but what you're gonna do uh, next. So it's about how you respond, I guess, after that.